Imagine, you're driving your Cybertruck with Alon Bulletproof Glass. The protection it provides will make you feel safer than even the president. The result of these tests was that NASA showed that Alon can withstand those impacts without chipping. However, getting out of Cybertruck in case of an emergency still raises many concerns. So, why is Elon Musk utilizing Alon for the Cybertruck? And how would you break such a strong window? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Alon is aluminum, oxygen, and nitrogen, and when you put them together in the right proportions, you get this transparent ceramic. Alon, or aluminum oxynitride, is a ceramic. It was a thing long before Star Trek made people aware of it. Developed in a joint effort by Japan, the US, and France in the early 1970s, they wanted it for military applications before the movies came out. Alon was used in recon camera pods in the USAF back in the 1980s. Nowadays, unique design alloys have opened up new prospects in the defense industry, science, and construction, as well as in the future product of Tesla, the Cybertruck. According to official data, Alon is four times stronger than tempered quartz glass, 85% harder than sapphires, and almost 15% safer than spinels, which are made of magnesium aluminate. The combination of optical and mechanical properties makes this material a leading candidate for high-performance, lightweight armored products, such as bulletproof and explosion-proof glass and elements for infrared optical systems. So why did Elon Musk choose this material for the Cybertruck's windows? And how would they work compared to conventional bulletproof glass? Alon is made of three layers, an outer layer that's exposed to gunfire and made of baked aluminum oxynitride, a middle layer of glass, and rear layer of polymer backing. In contrast, traditional bulletproof glass consists of several layers of polycarbonate sandwiched between two layers of glass. When struck by a bullet, the layers of glass and oxynitride of aluminum in Alon absorb the energy of the bullet, which will create a cracked spider's web, illustrating the outwardly expanding energy as it is absorbed through the pain. Not only can the aluminum armor deflect rounds from small caliber weapons while remaining more clearly transparent than shot bullet-resistant glass, it also passes a much more important test. It resists corrosion from 50 caliber armor-piercing bullets and anti-aircraft weapons that typically use 30 caliber rounds. This is an impressive feat, especially since it's half the weight and thickness of traditional transparent armor. Alon is also resistant to radiation, nuclear energy, and damage from various acids, alkalis, and water. The hardness of the transparent aluminum is one of the main problems that came into the spotlight. So, how would you escape if the Cybertruck suddenly has some sort of malfunctioning with the battery and short circuits and even catches fire? Would the window be breakable, is what I'm trying to get at here. Manufacturers must always consider the worst case scenario when introducing new technologies for their products. As one of the world's leading automakers, Tesla always has the safest and most most reliable solutions. Instead of trying to scream or wait for someone to come to your rescue so you can get out of the car, Tesla advises owners to equip a specialized toolkit to help break Cybertruck glass. Indeed, the life-saving tool is made of aluminum alloy. The surface is smooth and the texture is delightful. The steel head, made of tungsten steel, is extremely hard and can easily cut metal and glass. The integrated seatbelt cutter is made of stainless steel, which is as strong as Cybertruck's exoskeleton. Alloy shell, sun protection, frost resistance, and drop resistance, this emergency window breaker is a life-saving multifunctional safety hammer. And the seatbelt cutter is a cool accessory for your Tesla. It's equipped with LED lighting, making it more convenient to use at night. It's small in size, easy to carry, and doesn't take up much space. 
Moreover, this smart tool only costs about $30, so anyone can own it. When pushing the kit against the glass, the sharp head will pop out strongly and break the glass. These days, manufacturers utilize special windshield glass that completely shatters after an accident, but Alon glass just breaks into large pieces of glass. Tesla's life-saving tool has the power to get you out of trouble when you need it most, even underwater. Compared with safety hammers, the Safety Car Escape Tool, or or the SET, performs better against water pressure. And whether you're young, old, woman, man, you can rest assured that you'll be safe with this tool. However, these occurrences are extremely uncommon. Windows in the Cybertruck can roll up and down like a regular car window, so it's opened electronically and does have a mechanical release for instances where exiting the vehicle is an emergency. And with that, the problems surrounding breaking the glass are solved. But using this super hard glass still presents many challenges. So what are they? So the challenge is really how to process the material to make it into, to get the optical clarity. In spite of the excellent properties of transparent aluminum, this material has not received wide use. Heating and handling larger sheets of transparent aluminum require a sizable investment in infrastructure. The bullet-resistant glass currently in use costs around $3 per square inch to produce. A steal compared to the $10 to $15 price tag for the same size piece of transparent aluminum. Some drivers said that Alon would be stronger forever, basically impenetrable, but to him, as a consumer, it would depend on how much more it would make the vehicle cost. If it only added a few thousand, he guesses he might consider it, but he also guessed it would cost an additional 20,000 or more. If that's the case, he doesn't think it's necessary here on Earth. The additional costs of outfitting a vehicle with transparent aluminum armor would, at least in theory, pay for themselves over time. The bullet-resistant glass would have to be replaced several times over, while the more expensive material has a much longer lifespan, about 90 years. Chances are good that increased demand for the material will drive costs down. It may not be long before your phone's tempered glass is replaced by transparent aluminum screens. In any case, how do you feel about the decision to choose Alon Glass for Cybertruck? How much do you think the price of the Cybertruck would increase if this material is used? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.